Hello, my name's Christine and I'm going to show you around Bear Journal. Bear Journal first loads with a summary page. This shows a snapshot of your bird in progress so far. We will now add a new entry. Start by selecting a location. These are your personal locations that can be arranged in any hierarchy order. If the location doesn't exist, we can add a new location by clicking on Edit Locations. We'll go ahead and use iBrook Reservoir. Photos of the location can be added here and also information about the trip. Now let's add our sightings. The checklist shows the birds and wildlife checklist relevant to the selected location. Bird Journal includes checklists for most countries of the world. Changing the country location updates these checklists. For this example, we'll use Birds of the United Kingdom. To add a sighting, type the species name into the species text box. This is a smart search text box and lets you find the species really quickly. For example, to find Arctic Tern, type AR space T and then press enter to add the species. Add a count if you like. By pressing enter again, move your cursor back to the species text box ready to add more sightings. I will now go ahead and add Chiff Chaff. If you're interested in recording photos, a high resolution copy of the photo can be stored in Bird Journal's database. To add a photo, click here and find the photo on your computer, then add the photo. We'll now assign a few properties to this sighting like interesting and good view. Properties are completely customizable. Any properties can be removed and new properties can be added. New properties can be set as checkboxes, drop down lists or text fields. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the entry. Bird Journal will automatically show the entry that's just added. Bird Journal works similar to a web browser. Anything that is underlined is clickable. Photos are also clickable. Now from here, by clicking on the photo information link button, we can find out more information about the photo and also which camera was used. Now let's take a look at the species page. Here shows all your birds and other wildlife species in taxonomic order. You can switch to alphabetical order if you prefer. As you can see, I've seen 170 birds and four other wildlife. The filters at the top are common throughout the journal and can be used to generate reports. For example, I can filter the location to see all the species I've seen in Ibrook Reservoir. Now let's take a look at the shell duck. Interesting information can be seen about the shell duck, like photos and graphs. All graphs are auto-generated using the records stored in your database. Now let's take a look at graphs. If you record count, then we have a good selection of graphs for counts as well as distribution and trend reports. Let's take a closer look at the location species count graph. To see which location you've seen the most species in a particular year, we can use the year filter to generate the report like this. If you record photos, and the gallery page will be of interest to you. The gallery page displays all your photos recorded in Bird Journal. There are 358 photos shown here. You could easily store over a thousand photos without affecting Bird Journal's performance. The common filters at the top let you filter your photos to let's say, show me all the birds of a willow warbler. And here are all my birds of a willow warbler. I hope you've enjoyed watching the demo. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at mail at bluebirdtechnology.com. Thank you for watching.